Hello, welcome to World News from Khurshid Global TV channel. U.S. President Donald Trump abruptly cancelled his top diplomat's planned trip to North Korea on Friday, publicly acknowledging for the first time that his effort to get Pyongyang to denuclearize had stalled since his summit with the North's leader. Trump partly blamed China for the lack of progress with North Korea and suggested that talks with Pyongyang, led so far by Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, could be on hold until after Washington resolved its better trade dispute with Beijing. It was a dramatic shift of tune for Trump, who had previously hailed his June 12 summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un as a success and said that North Korean nuclear threat was over. Despite no real sign, Pyongyang was willing to give up its nuclear weapons. But Trump still kept that door open to a second summit with Kim, with whom the president recently said he has Great chemistry, I have asked Secretary of State Mike Pompeo not to go to North Korea at this time because I feel we are not making sufficient progress with respect to the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, Trump wrote on Twitter. The commitment and determination of Turks is the guarantee needed to combat attacks on Turkey's economy, President Tayyip Erdogan said on Saturday in his first comments on the currency crisis in days. Turkey's lira has trembled some 40% this year as investors' concerns over Erdogan's grip on monetary policy and a growing dispute with the United States put pressure on the currency. Erdogan has cast the rapid deterioration of the lira as an economic war and accused Washington of targeting Turkey over the fate of Andrew Bernstein an American pastor being tried in Turkey on terrorism charges that he denies. In two separate statements to commemorate the anniversary of the Battle of Manzikert in 1021 and Victory Day, Erdogan said the unity of Turks against attacks targeting their political and economic independence would prevail. A fire tore through a hot spring hotel in the northern Chinese city of Herbin before dawn on Saturday, killing 19 people and causing 23 others to be taken to hospital, city of Shelsea. Authorities are investigating the cause of the blaze at the four-story Belling Hot Spring Leisure Hotel, and an expensive spa resort visited mainly by domestic tourists, which broke out just after 4.30 a.m. The People's Daily newspaper cited fire official as saying the blaze had started in a kitchen on the second floor. Flames swept through an area of about 400 square meters before being extinguished after three hours, Chinese state broadcaster CCTV reported. Footage show rescue workers pecking through the chaired buildings. An island volcano on the north coast of Papua New Guinea erupted early on Saturday, forcing 2,000 villagers to flee from Aipa Flows, the National Disaster Center said. Manam Island, just 10 kilometers wide, is one of the Pacific nation's most active volcanoes and is home to roughly 9,000 people. Three villages were directly in the path of the lava flow and residents had to be evacuated to safer ground, Martin Moss, director of the PNG National Disaster Center, told Reuters by phone. That was all from English News Service of Fushid Global TV channel. Thank you for watching us. Wish you a good night. Bye.